I'm going to be doing a music video breakdown of my most recent video where I used the Selena Gomez song, My Mind and Me, but I'm not using that song in this video, this tutorial, because of the copyright. For each scene that I filmed, I used my phone, my iPhone, to play the music so I can match up the lyrics to the song. This is a before and after of scene one where I used AI to create the background. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I do music video effects and VFX tutorials. The first step of scene one is to export a JPEG from Premiere Pro using this little camera icon. I'm going to click it, hit OK. It's going to export a freeze frame basically to the desktop, which I'm going to drag into Photoshop. And then I'm going to use my lasso selection tool to outline the couch. I'm going to remove it using AI. It gives me three prompts that it generates, which you could always generate more. I like that one. I'm kind of going for an empty room in the beginning of this process. And then I'm going to use my lasso selection tool again to outline the books and the shelves. I'm going to get rid of that completely so it's just blank. And then I'm going to outline the floor also using the lasso selection tool. And I'm going to be precise around the piano bench and my dress. And I'm going to add lush moss to the scene. And that's looking pretty good so far. I believe that this is the one I'm going to go with. Here's a before and after of the edit I just created. And after adding the lush moss to the floor, the next step I'm going to do is bring my handy selection tool and add marble walls to the walls. And there was a lamp on the piano bench, so I'm going to add a lamp later into the scene. But for now, I'm kind of liking how that looks. And then I'm going to use the crop tool at 9 hole and 16 size. And I'm going to generative expand the image, meaning I'm going to add more to the image using AI in Photoshop and after it generates it gives me three prompts again and I'm going to go with the first prompt that it generated that's a before and after of the generative expand and then I'm going to bring my freeze frame JPEG export back into Premiere Pro. I'm going to scale it in size so that it fits the way that I want and then as you can see it doesn't add up to the original clip of me so I'm going to reduce the opacity of the top clip the freeze frame and I'm going to scale down the clip of me and match it up basically and that's looking pretty good so far that's me reducing the opacity just to make sure that it matches up then I'm going to select the pen tool and I'm going to start outlining myself and then I'm going to hit inverted and that way we have a perfect mask and now that's what it looks like. It's looking pretty good. And then I'm going to scale the video of the clip of me and then I'm going to scale the freeze frame so that it scales in and out. And then for the next scene of me playing the piano, I'm going to do basically the same thing. But first I'm going to start with generative expand using the crop tool. And then I'm going to use Generative Fill to fill in all the elements that I want. I'm going to remove that little area and then I'm going to remove the couch behind me because it's just too much and it's looking a little cluttered. And I want to add lush moss again to the floor and also marble walls to the walls. So first I'm going to remove the couch as I had stated and that's a before and after. And then I'm going to use the lasso selection tool to carefully outline the floor, remove those little areas around on the piano bench even though I may have to go in and clean it up a little bit after the AI has generated its three prompts and these are the three prompts that it came up with for lush moss it looks really realistic and cool I go with the second prompt this one which I just love and then I'm going to add in lush moss again to the little corner because it left it out so I'm just going to add that there's a before and after and after doing that I'm going to add marble walls so that there's texture and like a gritty feel to the video and these are the options it gives me and there was a lamp in the beginning when I was filming but it was really ugly so I got rid of that and I added a new lamp in AI this is a lamp I went with then I'm going to drag the freeze frame JPEG back into Premiere Pro match it up with the video clip and then I'm going to add the mask on the freeze frame this is a before and after of scene number two and the first step is to take a picture of the book that I'm going to use for the edit and then I'm going to quickly 
quickly change my outfit because the bathroom was really far away and I couldn't really get to it in time. Here's the test shot just to see what it looked like. I tried standing up and sitting down and then I'm going to use my phone to play the song, set my phone on the ground so I can mouth the lyrics along with the song. I tried standing, I tried sitting, but I like the sitting position better and I filmed this at the Fullerton Arboretum which is a really cool place. There's me dropping the book and then in Photoshop I'm going to take the picture of the book and erase part of the words at the top. I used the brush tool and matched up the color of the page to the brush just to erase it and then I'm going to erase my thumb by using the clone tool just really quickly. That's a before and after of erasing my thumb holding the book and then I'm going to bring the picture of the book back into Premiere Pro where I'm going to resize it and reduce the opacity so I know where to position the book and that looks good right about there so I'm going to bring the opacity back to normal and then I'm going to bring the clip of me and the picture of the book into After Effects where I'm going to add a mask around the book and after adding the mask I'm going to duplicate the layer of me place it on top of the book and I'm going to use a roto brush tool in After Effects on the top layer of me just to roto my head and my hair so that my head appears in front of the book not behind it like it originally did when I brought the book into Premiere Pro and After Effects. And the rotor brush tool can be explained in a couple of my other videos, but it's pretty easy and fun to use. Um, this is me just redoing the feather and the shift edge of the rotor brush. And then I'm going to export a freeze frame from Premiere Pro into Photoshop. And I'm going to add grass around the book so it looks realistic, like the book was actually there in the scene. And I like this option a lot, but it adds a peacock, I'm not sure why, in AI. So I'm just quickly going to remove the peacock. There, it's gone. And then the next step is to add vines around the pages of the book to give it like a cool ethereal feel and to add to that vibe I'm going to add vines and flowers at the top left of the book and it adds these cool looking purple flowers and vines that I really like so I'm going to stick with that option and then I'm going to add some daisies and flowers in the corner but it came out really large so I had to play around with it. The next scene that I did I mostly added AI to change the background. The only thing that was consistent was my dress which I changed the color and the creek. This is a free stock video of fog that I got from YouTube and this is a before and after of the next scene where I used my pop-up green screen in my room and a new dress from Fashion Nova. I ripped out a page from my book which I took a picture of and incorporated that into an AI generated scene of woods and grass. As you can see, I even added grass at the bottom of the page to make it realistic to blend in with the ground. That was just a color toning before and after. I set the focus of my camera to my laundry bag and then stood in place of the laundry bag in order to film myself. Then I changed into my dress, tried sitting, tried standing, and my shadow against a green screen was really great and worked out because I used that shadow in the video. And then I took this clip of the fly page. Here's a before and after of the next scene where I film myself in regular motion mouthing the lyrics and added a bunch of people and myself in the background moving quickly. Originally I tried to film the scene at this location but I thought it was a little awkward even though I tried walking around and doing a bunch of different things but in the end I went with this scene against the tree and I got lucky because more people were walking in the background staring at my camera so that worked out really well. And then I filmed myself walking around a bunch of times and used a rotoscope scope tool in After Effects to incorporate the people in the background. Here's a before and after of the second to last scene of my video. I added a brain instead of the rock I'm standing on just to go along with the lyrics of mental health and I added space in the background. Here's the picture I took of the brain As I stepped off the rock, you can see I was effing around and almost found out as my cell phone fell out of my fanny pack and luckily not in the creek. And finally, here's the last scene of my music video. You can see I also used my pop-up green screen for this scene and added a brain at the top of my head. I ordered a syringe from Amazon and used my hand against the green screen to pretend to poke at my brain and use Ultra Key Tool in Premiere Pro to remove the green screen to add into any image or video that you want. I exported a freeze frame from Premiere Pro into After Effects and just simply cut and pasted the brain on top of my head. And then I brought the freeze frame back into Premiere Pro and added a mask around it. 
And I also used free stock from YouTube and changed the blending modes of these tears to add realistic looking tears around my eyes. And that's the breakdown of my newest music video that I made. I already have another song in mind for my next music video, so I look forward to filming and editing that. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I hope I was able to inspire or help you learn something new. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Give me a subscribe. That would really Really help me out a lot. I hope you guys are having a very productive week and as always stay cool.